so many pants they call me Peter. <laughs> Peter Pan action. It was funnier when we said it before. <laughs> before we started filming, it was much funnier. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> your, your outfit's not funny though. That's that's one thing. What's wrong with that? You're ready to you're ready to cook French toast. That's the kind of outfit you got on. <laughs> Brain de Francaise. <laughs> French toast. I was speaking French because we're making French toast. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna cut that out. Edit that out. Parlez-vous le français? Je m'appelle Nicole. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> you want to intro the video? Or? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the friends! We are making a breakfast prep for the entire week. We're going to make low calorie French toast for seven days. French toast for weight loss, baby. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fancy apron required. Yes. Made it myself. More pans than a Peter required. <laughs> More pans than a Peter. <laughs> This is my favorite kind to use. This is the Dempster's Thin Sandwich Bread. I'm using the white, there's white or whole wheat. I'm gonna get out 14 slices, that's two per day. Get your fancy meal prep containers. Oops, I, do you like using the ends? I don't. The booty? No. No. I don't use the booty. <laughs> no boots. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, they're stuck. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen breads. That's correct. Put this boots back in there. Put it in there for your husband, so <laughs> he can deal with it. Take all the good slices and uh... <laughs> leave the rest for the mess. <laughs> I need egg whites. All right, the friends. I have two pans sprayed with cooking spray and if you got room have like five or six pans if you can but. yeah so as many pans as you can to be peter and to cook your toast french and i'm gonna put it on medium high is that what you do medium yeah, medium and i'm gonna figure i never can figure these out is this the right one i don't know there's a diagram there that we've had this oven for like 15 years and it's That's broken it confuses it's me broken it confuses me we're high rollers <laughs> okay so we need the 14 slices of bread that i showed you we have our pans preheating i've got seven containers here i get these from walmart i like this because it has two dividers i'm gonna put fruit in this one and the french toast in the big part so i got my pans no those are containers egg whites we're gonna use two and a third cups. That's a third cup a day. So let's get that in here. I'm gonna use a big bowl. So why this is healthier, lower calorie. Me and Nicole do eat healthy fats, but we don't want too much healthy fats. So we omit the egg yolk and just use the egg whites for our French toast. And then we'll show you some other ways to make it extra tasty. Yeah, I like, I personally like eating lower fat, higher carb. That's just me. And I eat in a caloric deficit of 1,900 calories a day, and I lose weight that way. And no matter what you like doing to lose weight, you have to eat in a deficit. Exactly. So for me, I prefer less fat and more carbs. Whatever you like to do is cool. This is how I like to eat. So I don't eat the yolk, I eat the whites. So two and a third cup of cups of egg whites. Then I'm gonna put a tablespoon of ground cinnamon and use the cinnamon if you're gonna make this do the cinnamon to taste whatever you prefer however much you like and I'm gonna use two tablespoons of vanilla extract and again it's whatever you prefer I like a lot of vanilla so one and two 
And then I use one packet of stevia per day when I'm making my French toast. So I have seven packets of, this is zero calorie sweetener. This is my favorite kind to use right now. It's the Better Stevia Zero Calorie Sweetener in French Vanilla Flavor. You can use anything like No Name, uh, regular Stevia, whatever you like, but the vanilla, the French Vanilla Stevia or Better Stevia is, it adds a lot of flavor. It's really good. It's whatever, like one, I use one packet per day, like I said. So we're just gonna dump seven of these babies in there. And you guys will see how quick this is Oops. too, which we, we, yeah, take that. Don't out. do that. We love quick meal prep that we also look forward to eating. Real food, white bread, French toast. It's awesome. French toast makes me feel like I'm eating so fancy every day, but it's really quick to make. And if you make it ahead, you can put some in the fridge, some in the freezer, and then you have it all ready. You just thaw it out and heat it up in the microwave. So we're gonna whisk this up, and then I'm literally just gonna let the bread soak in here for a bit. Whisk her up till it's all whiskeroo. Yeah, you got your carbs and proteins, perfect bodybuilding meal. And when you add the fruit, it's a great mix of fiber, carbs, protein. It, I'm full for quite a few hours after that, and you know I do lots of cardio and stuff after I eat this, and it sustains me, keeps me full me dance like this like <laughs> okay so once you got it basically I'm just gonna put the bread in here a few at a time let them coat soak them up and you know while you're doing this we have our pans heating up and the first batch should be almost you know ready to go let them soak for a bit I let them soak a bit longer and I actually you could defrost your bread if you like or you don't have to freeze it or whatever but whatever yeah, like sometimes we let it thaw out a bit, but really like you can do this straight from frozen. And the cool thing is when it's straight from frozen is it the bread doesn't break apart. You can sort of soak it up and not worry about it breaking. And so I just do this like Get I, them nice and coated. You'll see like the cinnamon and the egg whites all coated on there. I just put them at the bottom, soak them, put them at the top. Make sure everything gets a nice coat. Hold a big stack. <laughs> yep, a big stack. <laughs> like that. And then when they're done, I'm just gonna plop them in and let the rest soak in. Just like that. And then what I do sometimes, if I have a bit extra at the bottom, I'll uh, take like a spoon or whatever, and as they're cooking, just add a little bit of the egg whites on top. Yeah, and then it just soaks in. So now our pan should be ready, and I'll go put the first batch on. Okay, so in my big pan, I'm gonna put four. And about, you know, two to three minutes per side, just depending on your preference, like if you like it really crispy golden, however long that takes for your oven and for your pans, it's all, everyone's different. So we'll just let the rest of these soak in there for now and then we'll cook these babies up. And guys, it's totally worth it, like do this. It, it will take us like 15, 20 minutes and you've got a healthy low calorie breakfast ready for the entire week. Yes, and like I said, I put three in the fridge for the week when I run out I have the rest in the freezer. I pull them out as I need them and I just thaw them in the fridge overnight and I microwave them for a few seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, and that's it. Then you put on syrup. I'll show you my favorite kind to use. Berries. I top it with berries and I'll show you how I prep those in the container and a little bit of sugar-free powdered sugar and I'll show you that too. It's like a dessert every day for breakfast and I lose weight eating it. What? Okay, so this is what Kyle and I were saying that we we do with some of the extra. You just take a spoon. And it'll soak it up right up. And any of your extra egg whites, you just pour that in there and it soaks it right in. Yep. This is another thing I do to save time and money is if you're on a budget, we buy frozen fruit because it lasts forever and it's cheaper. Fresh fruit is really tasty, but it goes bad quick. And what I can do with this put it all in the containers, and then it thaws out as I thaw out the French toast, and it lets the juice come out when it thaws, and it tastes even better on your French toast. These are the two fruits that we like, straws and bloobs. Straws and bloobs, 
So these are whole strawberries. I'm gonna take a quarter cup and put quarter cup in each container. And this is also a good way to keep variety going. Like Nicole will have maybe, you know, half the week strawberry, half the week blueberry. Oh, but guess what I'm doing tonight? I'm gonna put a quarter cup of straws and a quarter cup of blues. I'm gonna mix it up. It's half a cup of frozen fruit per day, what I like to do. So I'm gonna do a quarter cup of straws and a quarter cup of blues, guys. Yes. Okay, so we flipped them over. That's about what I like to see when I flip them. Now I'll cook them for another two to three minutes per side and keep getting my fruit ready. Okay, so you can switch up the fruit or you can do half and half like me, whatever you like. This is what I'm doing this week, a little mixture. And don't worry about the little ices you see in there. It'll all defrost. It's all good. There we go. Now we'll be prepped for the French toast. Oh, I'm gonna show them the syrup and the syrup powdered free sugar, free sugar. <laughs> this is if you wanna take it to the next level and get extra fancy. Yeah. So the French toast and the berries taste really good together. But if you wanna kick it up a notch and you have a few calories to play with, you can add some of these things. Now these are all the Walden Farm syrups. This is sugar-free and zero calorie. This is the chocolate and the caramel. These are my two favorites. We also have the regular pancake syrup. I like to top my French toast with a tablespoon of one of these and then some of this. This is Swerve and it's sugar-free icing sugar. So basically it's powdered sugar, but the sugar-free kind, and I put just a sprinkle, like probably about a teaspoon on top. Oh my gosh, it tastes like the real thing, seriously. It makes your French toast taste so fancy. And for 20 more calories, if you know, you're know you working in a deficit and you have 20 calories to spare, this is, a tablespoon of this is 20 calories. It's the no sugar added strawberry smuckers jam. And it is well worth the 20 calories, let me just tell you guys. It is so good on the French toast. So I do the French toast and then I put the jam and I put the berries and then I do the syrup and I do this. You feel like you're eating at like, what's a pancake place? Like IHOP or something? I don't know, we don't have any it's, in Canada. It's like Nicole Hop. Yeah, that's it's like very original. Pancakes in Canada at Nicole's house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these are ready, so I'm gonna put two per container, and I'll just keep finishing off um, the French toast, cooking it up, and putting them in the containers as they cook. We're just waiting for the last of the French toast to cook the friends. I just wanna show you, this is how I would reheat this after I thaw it in the fridge overnight. So the berries are there and they're thawed in the morning. So to reheat, I will just take out my French toast, I put it on the lid, and I stick this in the microwave for 30 seconds to a minute, and then I put this back in, bang my berries over, top it up with the syrup, and I'm good to go. No plate, no nothing. Get a fork and get digging. Like that. Less plates, less dates. <laughs> Isn't that a guy on YouTube? It's close enough. <laughs> All right, we are done. This is what it looks like. Now we're gonna lid these babies up, and this is it. Three are going in the fridge, four are going in the freezer. I have an entire week's worth of low calorie breakfast it's super tasty and it keeps me it keeps me on track and I basically jump out of bed and get excited to eat my breakfast. So for me it's been about eating what I love and foods that make me want to stay on track. Like this. Like this. So the friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the toast French, the French toast of the century breakfast prep. Okay? Love it, love it, and love it some more. And Watch these two videos here. And if you want stuff weight loss made even simpler, we got two weight loss guides in the links down below. Exact portions, meals, meal plans, family friendly recipes, you name it, it's in there. Oh. <laughs> Take a breath. <laughs> All right, now let's What are you do doing there? I'm pulling up my pants because they're getting big because I'm losing weight from eating the French toast and um, 
That way I can do the wiggle. That way we can keep it PG. Ah! Yes! Have a great day. Breakfast like this gives you lots of energy, as you can see. Peace! <laughs> wiggle and shake and go and yes. French toast. Parlez-vous Francais. Okay, now we gotta get some thumbnail action. Okay, how shall we thumbnail? Maybe pull your head behind all these. Okay, like, thumbnail action? Yeah, like this. Pretend like I'm eating there. Yeah, do like a YouTube face, like you're surprised at what you just made. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bite through it. You can do it. Don't give up.